Hey Leo, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is going to be a collective zodiac read on who's spying on you, okay? Remember that this is a collective read, so it may or may not resonate with you fully. You can book a personal reading with me through mid-January of 2022, okay? Um, if you miss that deadline, then I will keep you all updated on when personals become available again. Uh, I want to thank y'all so much for all of your love, support, tips, and donations, all of the likes and subscribes to the channel. I want to thank you all so much for everyone that has purchased merch from me, including Oracle cards as well as personals. It is greatly appreciated, and all of that goes back into the channel, okay? Remember that tier, it is fluid. This could play out past, present, or future. Check out my playlist for additional collective reads. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing this Leo, Sun, Moon, Horizon, that's when it's meant for you, okay? So first, we're going to delve into the person energy that is spying on you, okay? I already see a little bit of taboo sexual energy, okay? So this is someone that feels like it's taboo or like to like be with you sexually or like they have some type of obsession with you and they feel like it's unhealthy. So what is the main energy of this person that's spying on Leo? So I'm going to rise and please and thank you. This person could be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Horizon. A lot of lustful energy, okay? This person is real mysterious. So it's like nine times out of ten, you don't know that they are spying on you, okay? This person is very secretive, okay? But there is some type of transformative energy. This person could want to change for you. See, with this expansion here, this person could have Scorpio in their Jupiter, okay? Uh, but this person wants to expand with you. All right. They have some type of beliefs about you, like that you're a soulmate or that you're a twin flame. They feel like you bring luck to them. This person wants to travel towards you and expand your relationship. Leo, Sun, Moon, Horizon. For some of you, you may be on a break from this person. OK, and they're really lusting and craving you. We also have ninth house, spirituality, education, travel, aspirations. I do definitely feel like um, this person has a spiritual connection to you or they feel like they're being pulled to you spiritually. This person just can't get you out of their energy, okay? And quite frankly, I don't think they want to. This person also could have Scorpio in the ninth house or you could. Here we have this ascendant. So this person could be a Scorpio rising or you could be a Scorpio rising, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, but there's an energy of them wanting to clear their aura. You may be someone like an empath that really senses energy. So it's like this person wants to get their spiritual game up. They really want to cleanse their aura and have more to offer you spiritually. And uh, this person has a lot of I don't know why I'm hearing soul ties, but also it's like they want to prove something to you. But it's like if this person never really told you how they felt, they want to tell you that. It's something on their soul, on their heart that they want to express. Here we have experience, future, and friendships. This person could have Scorpio in the 11th house. Okay, but this is someone that really likes to like um put high emphasis on their friendships people that it's like they don't open up to people unless you're going to be in their energy for a long time this is someone that forms long bonds long friendships okay if i part the deck we have aquarius so this person could be an aquarius in the 11th house but very unique nonchalant type of person they could rebel against things too and have this leadership quality about them that is within aries this person could be an aries uh, an Aquarius or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but there's that passion, that desire, that ambition. The person that's spying on you, quite frankly, is in love with your ass. Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. What else can I tell Leo about the person that's spying on them, Spirit? Please and thank you. This person is starting to appreciate you more. They're starting to see what you brought to the table. Okay, this person is saying you are single and abundant. You looking good. You smelling good. You are being very abundant. Um, it's like 
you're reaping what you sow, but in a good way. You could have planted seeds. You could be a business owner. Uh, they're looking at you as the thinking woman. So you could literally be a woman or you could be someone in this feminine energy, okay? It's like you're attracting abundance to you. You have a very good, bright mind, okay? And this mind brings you a lot of abundance, okay, to your lifestyle. It's like I see you as being very abundant, very successful, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Here we have caring connections. You maybe had a very caring connection with this person, but this 14 is making a five. So there's a lot of changes, a lot of shifting within you and this person's relationship. There is some type of contract in the physical world um, where you two get together and you have a purpose in life. Okay, there is going to be some type of victory when this person comes in to balance things out. With the angel of balance here, this person could be a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or have that somewhere in their chart. But with the Archangel Michael here, the first chakra, this person wants to stabilize a caring connection with you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This person is definitely in love with you. I don't know if you're on a break from this person, and that's why they're spying on you. But it's like if you're wondering if this person's in energy has changed. It hasn't. In fact, I feel like it's made them fall in love with you even more, go after you even more. Okay. What else can I tell Leo, someone arising about the person that's spying on them, please? And thank you. Strength. Okay. This is your card, Leo, but it's like, it's taking this person's strength to approach you. It's taking them strength to change and have these different qualities about them. It's like it's taken a lot of strength for them to hold themselves back from you. All right. This person wants to just come in and have a higher commitment with you. They want to confess all that happened while you two were separated. Okay. There is a best friend type of energy where you and this person could probably talk for hours and hours. Okay. They want to do that again. They want to update you on everything that's been going on. It's really been hard for them to hold back from you all this time. This person is coming in fast. They could be sending you a DM, okay, via social media, or they could just be sending you a message like an email or a text message, something that comes in very fast over the airways, right? And then we have the connection, the stability, that they want to form with you. This is my 1111 card. So for some of you, you could be a twin flame in this connection with this person. But there's an energy of this person confessing to you after holding back. Um, it's taken them a hard work to hold back from you, Leo. So I'm on a rise. And it's like they just give the fuck in. And they tell you, like, look, I want to be with you. I miss you. I miss you. I've been out in the cold, Leo. <laughs> um, it's like this person has been... I don't, I don't know to say that they've been really wanting to work with you more so that, I mean, we know that, right? But this is telling me more. It's telling me that maybe this person tried to work with other people and they just weren't you. So they're moving on from this. Look, with the Empress here, you're coming in as the divine feminine, Leo, and this person is fucking losing sleep over you. Okay. That's why they want to move towards you. Look, with the Nine of Swords, they're going to come in fast. Maybe you all argued in the past and it's like they want to plead their case about why you two should work work together it's like it's too much between us for us to just let this go like this okay moving forward what can i tell leo about the person that is spying on them please and thank you what else can i tell leo moving forward moving forward and where does the power come from it comes from within this person is pulling everything that they have um to hold themselves back from you, but that very energy is pulling them towards you as well. We have, in the end, you tried and you cared, and sometimes that's enough. And this person is like, it's almost the energy of them telling themselves like, okay, it's enough. You tried, you, but they can't, they cannot leave you alone. The very thing that is holding them from them is also bringing them to you. It says, harmony is pure love. For love is a complete agreement. This person has a lot of love towards you. 
um, they're realizing that they have a soul connection with you. And it says your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. This person is going to muster up enough energy moving forward. They're going to reach out to you because they feel like you're a soulmate. It says take a leap of faith into the unknown. This person is going to take a leap of faith and they're going to rekindle this relationship. The bottom deck is I have found the one that my soul loves and adventure awaits go find it lastly we have everything you need your courage strength compassion and love everything you need is already within you so the person that's spying on you leo is somebody that you possibly have been in a relationship with they want to rekindle their caring relationship this person sees you as very smart very capable of obtaining abundance in your everyday life and they want to come in and give you the stability within a relationship and within love <laughs> so leo sun moon horizon if this message resonated with you smash that like button if you want to see more collective zodiac reads like this one smash that like button i thank you so very much for all your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. Until the end, peace and love.